while the uh, well Gray is at the Council of Artisans, and Pyre, Ezio, and Albrecht are investigating the town, what is Amenius doing? Amenius. 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 Amenius is doing what Amenius does best. Amenius is being social. Shit. Amenius is paying house calls. Amenius is paying house calls. Amenius is paying house. Roll your circles to find the people who would still speak to you. Hold on a sec. So, what is your circles? Are. Is it? It's in my <laughs> folder of things. You have a base circles of one. Correct. Right. And you are looking just for other courtesans, courtiers, court goers. I should say that the people are, I don't want to say incidental to my goals, because someone will have this information. But I'm looking for information. I'm using people to get there. I'm specifically looking for rumors about the thefts. Okay. Uh, rumors. So this is, you're looking, so it's a broad occupational or profession, because it's anybody within your yes. Any particular gossip on your, um, that happens to Station, happen. same station or rank as you, uh, higher or lower by one uh, mm -hmm. iteration. Uh, are you looking for somebody in the lowest station or rank, or are you looking for somebody of the highest station? Tough choice. I want the peasant gossip for now. So a lower station, yes. the lowest. Well, peasant is the lowest. Servant station. Okay. So that's one level, one lower than a catamite. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> so uh, plus one obstacle. So it's a base obstacle of one to start with. Okay. Plus one obstacle because you're going down a rank. Interesting. Um, place. Uh, anywhere in the region? Like basically anywhere in the city? Yes. I was like, Jesus! <laughs> like, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, so that won't make a difference. Um, disposition or knowledge common to the, to the circle. A disposition or knowledge different from members of the circle, or a specific di disposition or detailed rare knowledge. I feel like gossip mongers having rumors. So just about the major common. newsworthy event would be common. Okay. <laughs> just a thought. I could be wrong. Like it might be that no one wants to talk about it because it's superstition. Um. Because you have the core tier life path, I will give you an extra dice. Yay. Um, and do you have any reputation that would feed into this? Oh, I have a reputation of beautiful. People okay. love talking to me because I'm pretty. I will, yes. Sometimes so they forget what they're saying. Do you have an affiliation that gives you a, uh, that ties into this? As we've already established that I will. Well, <coughs> I'm specifically asking the servants. So, does my affiliation of nobility apply? Yes. At that point, it's the equivalent of... I don't need circles. <laughs> I have extra dice. At that point, it's the equivalent of a routine. Yeah. Which is going to give you a routine test towards... So whenever you use circles, I determine the difficulty. It's base obstacles base one, and then goes up depending on what you're asking for. <coughs> and then you get one dice towards it for any um, affiliation that relates to what you're doing, and any reputation that relates to what you're doing. Is and it one dice per, or is it the rating of the reputation or affiliation? <coughs> it, it read as one dice per. I got the ratings, which are both two. Oh. So I have four against the definitely two. It's still a good change. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh. <laughs> I got one six. I'm like, that's bullshit. Thank you. That's much better. Three successes. Okay, you find a servant who is of good disposition towards you. Has fond memories of your time in barracks. I'm sure she does. You made her brother very happy, so I'm sure I did. Her name is Agnes. Agnes! So you now have a contact in barracks. Agnes. Servant. Who is she a servant to? Which what who's the noble family she's a servant to? We will say it is minor nobility of Varys. They are the the House of Nicomachus. 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 Nico. N i c o m a c h. N i c o m a c h. U s. Okay, Nicomachus. And are they just are they artisans? Yes. All right. So uh, you find out that that's where she's currently. She's still working there. Um, and has just finished cleaning up from breakfast. Like, like you're estimating, like about this time, she should be, she should be out. She should have finished cleaning up from breakfast, because uh, she was. Uh, you know that she was a cook. Okay. I will make my way to the Nicomachean estate, off the fence, saunter into the kitchen, and grab a roll left over from me. breakfast. Uh, Agnes is at the other end of the kitchen, putting pots and pans away. I stand patiently, letting my glowing radiant beauty fill the room slowly. While I wait, she'll notice me eventually. And she, uh, well, unless the gossip metal has been faster than I could have anticipated, she shouldn't know that I'm back yet. But, she certainly won't know that I'm good here to visit her yet. Yeah. Uh, so after about five minutes of putting pots and pans away, she turns around to grab more stuff and goes, <gasps> Arminius! Agnes, mm. these are delicious as always. When did you get back into town? Last night. <gasps> Scandal. I stayed at the Kaifax estate. <gasps> How did that go? Mm. It was a wonderful dinner. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I hear Lady Ursula is irked by you. I did impose the Prince of the Spell Swords on her. <gasps> so it's true. He's in town. Oh my. He's in with an artisan somewhere. Think I could meet him? Maybe cook him a meal? What are you doing? My ears are burning. <laughs> <laughs> I have the rest of the day off after lunch. You know, I'm sure the prince could do with a picnic. Perhaps the hill that overlooks the city. The one oh, the west. west. It's on the other side of the river. I would like that hill. I think there's a picture painted with me on there. It could be wrong. Is it a picture of the hill or a picture of you? There's a picture of me on the hill. I don't think I have clothing. <laughs> it's rare when you do. I'm dressed now. I mean, at least that I could find, but I'm dressed now. Yes. So, why are you in town? Business. 
Ew. It would seem that the candidacy for Council of some mystic council of wherewithal deals with magic things. <laughs> okay. Anyways, one of their candidates needs to attend to something in barracks. I've offered to help. How kind of you. I'm certain that kindness is the first thing in my mind. As soon as I find it, Well, if you need any help for the wash, my brother's one of the lieutenants now. I'm actually looking for rumors. <gasps> and you think I would partake in such underhanded... Debased conversation? No, of course not. But I'm certain you have younger scholarly mates that don't have a problem in Loyalty, you think I am to my noble family. As loyal as they pay you. So what rumors are you looking for? I heard some things were stolen, and I heard it's not thieves. Oh, yes. The ghost of Artisan Street, <laughs> as they've been calling it in the Penny Dreadfuls. Oh, they're writing Penny Dreadfuls about it? Yes. <laughs> I'll have to send them to the shops. It's beautiful. But... None of the rumors really line up to actually equate to anything noteworthy. They're all disjoint. Fascinating. Some rumors say it's Victor Snadley, a recently deceased artisan who was found dead because one of his statues collapsed on top of him while he was in the midst of carving it. And his angry ghost is seeking revenge. Hobby Park. So now there was a fool who didn't know how to bounce anything. He liked to carve too deep and then fell over and killed him. Probably. Other rumors say it's a ghost of a long past citizen whose grave was recently disturbed. What construction? Well, they were doing some digging in order to do some repairs for the sewage lines and the drainage uh, pipes. And they came across a buried corpse that appeared to be an ancient burial attire. Of course, it wasn't no, burial no, no, no. attire of importance. It wasn't glamorous or grandeur. It was more like a pauper's funeral. Mm. By now, that ghost would be long gone, too. Right? That's mm -hmm. what I thought. Exorcists went in. I mean, our exorcists in this kingdom are pretty good. Quite thorough. Quite mad. Others think it's a ghost of a foreign land that was brought over, attached or affixed to one of the trinkets on a recent boat. Of course. You waited until now to tell me a rumor of the foreign lands. You're such a tedious. I know. But there is one rumor that actually ties in with that one now that I think about it. Not quite as disjointed as we perceived. Perhaps. It helps. I like to lead you on sometimes. There's an abandoned boat at the pier. There's a who? There's a what? Really? Yes. But are they guarding that it? came from overseas. Are they guarding it? I don't know. <laughs> the rumor doesn't say. But the rumor says this ship came into dock and no one disembarked. I'm quivering with anticipation. And when they went on to see what was going on, it was empty. A ghost ship. Cargo intact. Food in the mess hall. Where did the ship originally hail from? Not one of ours? No. It's an independent merchant ship. According to its cargo list, or its manifest. manifest, its last port of call was in the 
always amusing to me, manifest to indicate a list of cargo, manifestation to indicate the appearance of the ghosts. Right. The, le the manifest says their last port of call was up in Oak Inheritance, the land of the elves. A cursed ghost ship. I feel a penny dreadful coming on. Right? Oh my goodness. I'll have to credit you in the dedication. Oh, thank you. Of course. I said, does anybody else have the same idea I do? <laughs> I want to put a I want to touch it. I want to take it. Ray, you're a prince. It's not stealing. You commandeer it. Yeah. I want to rub my face. <laughs> the character likes to think it's stealing. It likes to live every now and then. Okay. Oh my God. This is what you call living. This is, oh, this is like a four. Oh, you're going through a midlife crisis. Now I get it. Oh, yeah, he's really old. <laughs> it is a great this elven is curse. Great. A disappearing crew. This. The guards found something that had them coming out pale. But they have yet to discourse, disclose what that was. They're being very closed lips about it. Who sealed the record? So, great, pick a name. Um, ooh. The relevance will become apparent in a little bit. Lazarus. Lazarus. What's his last name? Fuck. What goes with Lazarus? <laughs> um, I almost Heel chose Lord of the Rings name. I was like, Hillbottom! <laughs> Don't go with that. Yeah, they went to it now. Uh, Underhill? Oh, that's what it was. It was Underhill, wasn't it? Um, I don't know, Hillbottom works. Sure, Hillbottom. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Let's take Let's it away. Alright, so he, that, he obviously is a knight who is no longer or who was not born at all. Okay. Uh, Sir Hillbottom, Lazarus Hillbottom, <laughs> yeah, the Lazarus. spell lord stationed here in charge of the garrison in City Watch. Sealed the boat. Sealed the guards' records. Sealed the records, sealed the boat, and took the manifest. <sighs> or he knows until they figure out what's going on, he doesn't want it getting out and spooking the residents. No, he's hiding something. And he's probably hiding something. I know this trick. I know that fear. I know that fear quite well. Okay. It's that fear that shadows have when light comes. <gasps> you think he was involved with an overseas scandal? With the elves? <gasps> Certainly worthy of being cursed. <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens. The plot thickens. This story practically writes itself. I mean, it, it does. It's silly. But who am I to say I am but a humble servant and chef in the house of Nicomachus? And I think that's dreadful self themselves. So they can see to turn profit. You have been a charm. I always enjoy our time together. Picnic, tea time, West Hill. I'll be there. I'll have a basket ready. Oh, you know, you can see the fear from that hill. You could? Hmm. How fortuitous. How many should I prepare for? Five. One. Six, including yourself, if you wish. How generous of you. I'm eating there. You can count? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and we're back there. <laughs> 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 hey, bud. That was too much fun. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? <laughs> that was a squeak. I heard oh. Dennis squeak. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh my god, holy shit. Okay, so. I just thought you were pretty. I didn't think you were smart, too. I know. <laughs> it gets me everywhere. <laughs> so, about this time, the Prince of the Spell Lords is able to rejoin the Exorcist, the Knight, and the Master Sorcerer in the Artisan's District with the information he got from the Council. 
and you, as you approach, you see them standing around at a corner, kind of off to the side, talking. Uh, and they have a map, and they have uh, the master sorcerer has taken a quill and has made circles of where the thefts were, and has drawn kind of a, a loose path of where they've gone in the order, uh, showing it basically showing a path going ever northward. Uh, it also, um, Jeff, did you mark the symbols next to each place? Yeah, I definitely marked at least, like, I probably did one through five, and then did a, wrote the number with a circle at each point, so yeah. it is a repeating. So that there's also a, a denotation of where the symbols were. Can I notice him before he walks up? Or yeah, he, unless up? he's stealth. Are you stealthy? Right. Or are you just walking up? Do you want to Wait, see? what is going on right now? I'm sorry. You left your the artisan's artisan your council team. with the information. As you leave, you can rejoin the rest of these three fuckers. Did we, oh, no, no, no. I, okay, so I'll just... Uh, um, I'll walk up behind after everyone meets and just kind of, like, stand and, and lean against something. Listen to everything. Uh, I'll be there, but I mean... I'm, I'll join in when right, wait for right. the You are arriving after they've been talking. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the scene that he said. Okay. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you? I was just, I was trying to find all my stuff. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> now I just need to wait for the prince to return with the new information. And yeah. the prince returns! Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the new information! Uh, ah! Oh, there you are. What information do you bring? Nothing of... You have the new. Well, new we have the new. Pan I have the new pamphlet, but it, there's really nothing that's there's changed so far. Six more robberies. Yeah, but it was basically the same. No, there's uh, an important piece of information in there. Just give us the info, man. <laughs> there's the. Uh, that's why I take notes. Uh, there's the. Uh, <laughs> it went into the nobles district. Yeah. Yeah. There's the there. important piece of information is that the the disappearances has now left the Artisan's District, and gone into the Noble's District to the north of it. That's right, okay. Information. <laughs> okay, now we all know that. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. And so I pl I take the new packet, and I plot those on it. It's like, oh, it's in the Noble's District now. Do you know anything that they stole? It's the Minor Noble's District. Minor Noble's, yeah. Is it still following the same north path? Yes. Yes, it's still heading north. Um, at this point, now that you have about 16, yeah. and you're looking at it, you notice that it's going about four blocks average. So sometimes it's three blocks, sometimes it's five blocks, but it's within it's within that range, each hit, going northward. Um, also, you have... Uh, do, 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 do. Waffles. Uh, who has symbology? Okay. Go ahead and roll me your symbology. It's going to be an obstacle three test. You can also help each other. Okay, bless you. 
You asshole. <laughs> Pikachu! <laughs> Pikachu! 
Pikachu. Oh, we're talking about Pikachu. Oh, I'm sorry. No copyright intended. Sorry, um, Cthulhu at all? I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Uh, you got four successes. I did! Because fuck your dice. And it was an obstacle two. Yeah. Uh, so you know that this is a spirit of trouble. No. Oh. So this is just doing my beats. <laughs> the club taken. Would you like to join the rest of the party now? No, I will send runners. Okay. And they can meet me on a hill in the west where we can clearly see the clear. Okay. And that is what I tell the runners to tell them. Very well. Surely not that there's a picnic, or that I'm lounging, or that I just have to That makes it look like I'm working, and everyone knows courtiers don't work. Uh, no, any effort would just be lost. We're pretty. We don't work. We don't call it pleasure <laughs> for a reason. The hill that you have picked is ironically named the Painter's Summit. Ah, because it's a famous hill that famous painters have gone to over the course of history Aww. to paint pictures of the pier and the city. <laughs> because it has a wonderful view. Yeah. Stupid. You're <laughs> all stupid. <laughs> Can you even be? This is what my dude thinks. So you also know that if you can figure out the actual individual name of this spirit, the glyph has power. Ah, and it's mine! I mean, what? No. <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead. Go nuts. See how it works for you. <laughs> the four of you are in the artisan district with the map. The new information. Yeah. Uh, you still want to go with the original map? Well, let's go to the nearest room. Because we actually haven't been at one of their places yet, and try and get an order reading to recognize it later. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else was stolen, or do we even know? Just no hilarious. Uh, it's just the the same kind of stuff from what was stolen before. Just now in the noble area. Yeah. Still making noise. All right. So which place are you going to go to? Uh, whatever one. We're in the Arson District. Yeah. I'm just going to go to the closest one in the Arson District. Okay. Uh, there was a... It's not necessarily an artisan shop. It's a, it's a woodworking shop. And it does preparation of logs for construction and artwork. So it makes two-by-fours. It makes planks. It makes wooden blocks of various sizes to be made into statues or carved into busts, etc. Um... And it's it's actually right. It's it's in the artisan district, and it's one of the properties that actually goes uh, butts up to the river, and it actually has a river access and its own small little pier for a lot to be delivered and shipped from. And from what the uh, dossier says, uh, a lot of construction lumber was what was this. So you get there. Um, and one of the, uh, uh, there's a young man in uh, leather pants and leather gloves who is hoisting raw logs uh, with another fellow similarly dressed. Shunk! And they're, with their muscles rippling as they lift huge logs and move them and stack them and get them ready. That's how it's do. One looks like he's late teens, the other one looks like he's early 20s. I'm seeing everything in knock vision, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> By knock vision, you mean there's glistening sweat yeah, rolling there's down a lot their of oil. biceps, then. Yeah. I mean, like, romance novel would have also worked. Yeah. I mean, this isn't Fabio, though. This is. is that is a Fabio. Um, it's totally Fabio. What you, what? I thought you said knock vision. Yeah, not vision. He dreams and twinks. Fabio's oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, you meant specifically Fabio. I thought yeah. you meant that, like, golden glow to everything. No, no, I meant, like, the actual... Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, there's a staircase leading up to a balcony off to the left-hand side inside this large area. Um, and on that balcony is a desk 
and you see a woman that looks to be of just shy of middle age. Uh, definitely still holds her her youth in her face. Uh, doing paperwork. Um, it very much looks like the setup of that's the owner. So, one of you guys will have to stop me if I don't. Uh, I'm, do we know where the uh, rooms are located within the place, or would we have to ask for that? Uh, it doesn't like it doesn't have a map that says it's here. You are here. It does state that that uh, prepared lumber for construction was taken from the storage. Okay. So somewhere on this site. They store prepared lumber to be purchased before it gets shipped out or picked up. I'd like to order me the lady sitting at the desk. Okay. Okay, that will do. Lady, do you want to do 21 and 22? I don't care about twinks. <laughs> I think the twinks for, for your benefit. I'll second sight. You have that as a. We have seconds. Yeah. yeah. It's just, just yeah. Out. Anything. Nothing out of the normal at the moment. Yeah. At least not here. Or me. Okay. Uh, actually, if you would like, do you want to do an aura reading as well, Greg? I don't have that. You don't have that skill? I don't think so. Oh. Well, then you could mind. probably learn. <laughs> oh, I have aura wise. That is not reading. That's not reading. I don't have aura reading. I can try. Somebody can tell you about an aura, and you can roll or a wise to depict what that knowledge means. True. Um, um, so, skills being learned. Aura reading. Do I just write it down now? So you would write down aura reading. Aura, aura reading is uh, root is will and perception. Okay. So that's the average of those aptitudes. So. Right. Yes. Uh, B, what would you like from this individual? What, what's the options again? Sorry. Uh, I know one's like emotion, I think. Detecting if the subject is alive, dead, from this plane or another. Sorry. Reading an aura trait, like aura of fear. Um, reading mood. Uh, seeing a character trait. Seeing a die or call on trait. Sensing a person's intent. And seeing an instinct. Or seeing a belief. Seeing the character's past, seeing the character's future, or reading an object to see if it is magical in the day. Oh wait, no, never mind. I don't think that was on there last night. No, that 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 goes out of the realm of people to things. Oh, you can use already for things, but it's weird. Very good to know. Like, is this a magical item or a read? Obstacle one: Is it magical in the day? Ah, oh, it's magical. Okay. Okay. So, B, what did you want from Aura Reading? Oh, poop. Uh, <laughs> oh, her, uh, yeah. her emotional state. Her emotional state. Yeah. Her mood. Okay. Uh, and Washington. Jeff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, aura Trade. Um, okay. Aura Trade. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, B, your obstacle is two. Uh, Jeff. Your obstacle is one. Yes. Aura traits are really easy to see because they're traits of the aura. Uh, <laughs> All right. Wow. I'm just going to roll. I That's what you get for that. <laughs> yeah. Three nice. Please don't tell me I got another deck that hates me. <laughs> that's one, two, 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 three. <laughs> well, that sucks. You can always run a D to reroll all your failed dice. Yeah, how about no? <laughs> I only have two. So you, you still gain. Shut up, pal. <laughs> no, you still no, get, no, you you get the test. test. Yeah, you get the test. You, you still get the difficult yeah. test. Yeah. 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 Difficult. It's not difficult, it's routine. No, no routine. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Is that uh, uh, obstacle to you? How many dice did you roll? Uh, five. Five? Oh, five. Okay. okay. So yeah, that's routine. Routine. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you had four dice. Oh, well, she doesn't need a routine test for five. Um, but is it caught off routine? Yeah. So, <clears throat> one success, start pass, and my reading goes up a level. Hey! <laughs> 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 
Okay, so Jeff. Uh, you could do a, a test for rewrite every time. Get better and better every time you read something. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, she has an aura of determination. Ooh. Uh, this trait allows the character and everyone within uh, her presence to re-roll one test in great in a great effort. You're all awkwardly standing no. right in the center. I don't even remember else that. You're also a prince, so like half the time, you would be the one. Just the two moving logs don't seem to notice, and they're also making a shit ton of noise, moving giant ass logs. Giant logs with the power of their mind. <laughs> In the will of their body. To the power of my rippling biceps. Unseeable. Yeah, so uh, I'll greet her. Uh, I'm. Oh, hello there. That's in truth. I'm Albert Tillerin, Master Sorcerer of Kinform University. I'm here to ask some questions and examine a marking perhaps that is up around. Tails One of the, uh, the younger of the two men looks over. Yeah? Show them the storage room! Oh, oh people! Oh! Hi! He puts down the claw. She looks at the other one and goes, Just take a break! After this, take lunch! Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. She goes back to her paperwork. Uh, so Joseph runs over. Ah, Sir Joseph? No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, okay. I was like, is he a knight? No. Hey, what? So Joseph oh. runs up. <laughs> it's like, what is he doing flipping logs? Are you <laughs> capable of doing more than one thing at once, Greg? Are you okay, Greg? We're starting to worry about Sir Joseph. Not so no, that's legit, though. So we're gonna have to start calling yeah, pulling the Greg. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle's over here pulling the Greg, and you're over there pulling the Kyle. What the fuck's going on there? Did you guys Friday the 15th this no. shit? Not uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, you Friday the 19th. What the hell? Terrible fucking movie! So, he runs over and he takes his leather gloves off and sets them uh, with the claw um, on a small table. Uh, and he goes, ah, uh, the storage room is right over here. Uh, about 40 timber uh, that were already prepared. They were two by fours. Uh, have vanished. And I'll show you. It takes you uh, through a hallway that seems to, through this hallway, it seems to lead to numerous different uh, storage rooms. So there's about, there's basically two small warehouse rooms and two small warehouse rooms. Um, and you can see up at the, like, the, the, the walls don't actually go all the way up to the top. You can see at the top there's a, uh, a rigging system that allows them to lift large pallets of wood up and move it over towards their dock and back in so that they can easily load and unload. Um, and he takes you to the back one that's uh, the one farthest and towards the river. So the second door on the way. And he opens it up and you see about half the room is filled with uh, construction of wood, uh, construction timber. Um, and you can see a large section uh, where wood was once stacked. Um, and you see symbol number uh, three on the ground. It's uh, the ground is large stone blocks, and it's etched like a clean, smooth burn into the stone. And it's perfectly smooth. Uh, it looks like it's, and it doesn't necessarily look like it was burned in. It looks like it's a natural occurrence of that's how the rock formed. 